Podcast. Scary clouds gather in the downtown area. <laughs> what? Oh, man, I was just thinking about my costume and I scared myself. You guys are gonna be so scared you will pack up your things and leave town. What is it? I Come can't on. tell you, but it involves a lot of fake blood, fake things, fake rotting flesh, fake blood, all sorts of stuff that's gonna drive you insane. <sighs> Probably doesn't matter anyway. I think I heard a voice, but it's muffled by unnecessary safety gear. Uh... <laughs> you literally have never seen the way you drive, have you? Anyway, it's October 31st. It's already Halloween afternoon. You say that like it's a bad thing, but it means Halloween is here. Yeah, Halloween when regular people dress like the coolest, scariest things, and regular houses get decorated and give out candy, and Chili Bear throws an awesome Halloween party where we dress up and wear first prize for best costume! Achoo. Hmm. You wait till the last minute to get costumes. Oh, oh, great. Thanks for bringing us down, Mom. You just took a big slice out of my joy pie. Okay, I'm just saying. We got plenty of time. I mean, look at the building. It's huge. And if we can't find anything in there, we can always be a hobo. <laughs> There's always the hobo option. Yeah. The hobo cause. You two have wasted the time we could have used making contest winning costumes at home. Did not. We've been doing super important things. You say it. You've been to your counselor today, and you're wearing your cinnamon bun patch. I can't go to the mall. No, no. Come on, baby. I can't do it. You can do I, it. We believe in I you. I can't do it. Cinnamon buns are just pastries. I know, but it's hard to love something and not have it love you back. <laughs> oh, man, do it for yourself. Do it for us. <laughs> do it for Halloween. <laughs> I can do it for Halloween, but I can't do it for you. Hey, whatever floats your boat, we're good. My costume is gonna rock the house! Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna be something creepier than whatever you are. You don't know what you're talking about, man. I do, too. Oh, I know you're talking about. Shoe Village, Shoe Express, Shoe Bang, Shoe Dump. Seriously, too many shoes. That seems like a lot of shoes. And look at the cupcake options. Cupcake Cupboard, Cupcake City, Cupcake Town, Neil Cupcake Shoppy, Cupcakes, Cupcakes, Cupcakes! But still, I feel like there could be more cupcakes. Okay, let's find costumes. I'll go left, you go... <gasps> Wait a minute. <gasps> Vibrating massage chairs! Oh, man. This is heaven. I feel like all my cares and worries have been whisked away. Okay, five more minutes. But don't fall asleep. We've got a party to get to. Oh, Come don't on. you worry. Hey, just relax. Oh. Feel the vibes, girl. Oh. We won't fall asleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ah! Ah! 
everyone's gone. We must have fallen asleep. And we're locked in. Alone. All alone. By ourselves. scared when they see their own butt. I remember my first time. It was horrifying, but I'm comfortable with it now. No, it wasn't my butt. It was... I don't know what it was. A ghost? A goblin? A spirit? A specter? A phantom? Come on, you little blue warrior one. Let's go. <laughs> what in the mall was that? <laughs> I don't know, but it was scary. But you know what? I got a zombie joke. Oh, perfect timing. Go ahead. Why do not zombies eat clowns? <laughs> Why not eat clowns? Because they taste funny. <laughs> <gasps> oh, man, <gasps> this is not normal. No, it's <gasps> not. You know what it is? Yes. It's paranormal! You don't even know what that word means. Yes, I do. What does it mean, then? It means too normal. Paranormal. <laughs> Scary things always come in pairs. I'm telling you, there are monsters in our midst!
hiding place! No matter how clearly some two of us are at fault. No matter how easily all of this could have been avoided if two of us, you, had listened to one of us, me. Blaming won't solve anything. Good to know. Yeah, thanks. Okay, first things first. We, we split, split up. up! If horror movies have taught us nothing else, you gotta split up. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do, yeah. I'm gonna go running down this hallway like a little old lady, screaming my yeah. lungs out. Eventually I'll see a tree lift, yeah. I will trip over it, and then I'll fall on the ground, and I will scream some more. Oh, nice. How does intentionally tripping help anyone escape? Yeah. Anywho, I, on the other hand, will go off in search of the mall basement. Why wouldn't you? And no matter how dark it is, I will go down into the basement on the squeaky steps and probably break a few. Yeah. And it'll continue to be dark because my flashlight doesn't work because my batteries are all wonky, but I've got to get to the single light source, which is a light bulb hanging from a chain in the middle of the basement. And, and what are you looking for? I don't know! Uh, exactly! Everyone tells me not to go, but they're wrong! I have to go down there! It's the thing to do. By myself. Yes. And you see no flaws in that plan? Oh! Miss Piddles had speakers. Pray favor us with your wise counsel, Professor Piddles. <sighs> We all sit back to back, and when the monsters come, if they do, we deal with them in a calm and rational manner. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. No problem. Very reasonable. Partners, y'all are as skittish as three colts in a cotton field. What? I don't know. It sounded western. Listen, we're not going to hurt you. Look at me. I'm a gown. How can a gown hurt anyone? It can make you look matronly. Okay, there's that. And I'm just a pair of chaps and a fancy ivory snap shirt and a pair of boots and a hat. Why, I'm as harmless as a milkmaid what never learned how to yodel. That uh, didn't make any sense at all. We're just plastic masks and non-flammable fabric. Costumes. Harmless, not particularly scary. Costumes. Wait a minute. Why are you even here at all? It's, it's Halloween. You should be out, you know, being worn by people who are wearing you. Exactly. For years now, we've been picked over, tried on, but never chosen. <laughs> No one's bought us forever. So we wander this mall. Hoping someone will love you. That's a little much. Buy us would be good. Buy us and wear us. Why hasn't anyone bought you? Botted. The word is botted. Oh! Don't, Don't shoot! And <laughs> that's just a finger, partners. I've got a holster, but old Mr. Liability says no six shooters. And who wants a cowboy that ain't packing heat? But what girl doesn't want to be a princess? Do you recognize me, like, from anywhere? Not particularly. Should I? No, honey, it's not your fault. I'm not a licensed character. No cereal box, no video game. In terms of marketing, I'm a princess without a country. And I'm basically a sheep. And as you might have noticed, my thread count, uh, not so high. 
Also, pretty much anybody with an old blanket and a pair of scissors can make me at home. So we roam the mall every night. At first, it was fun. Yeah, we ran up the escalator backwards. But it got old. We just wanted somebody to have some fun with. So you chased us through the mall. Chased? We just ran after you. You all looked like you were having more fun than a rooster pulling a wagon with his teeth. <laughs> Not scary. We're forgotten. Forgotten and lonely. But wait a minute. You don't have to stay here. You can come with us. Hell, that's not possible. Someone has to buy us so we can never leave this mall. Oh, we're doomed. Doomed. What if we bought it, you? I called the cowboy. But I wanted to be the... Ghost. I want to be the ghost. So this is going to work out perfectly. Yeah. Let's go to that party. Because all these costumes seem like real contest winners. It's shocking you weren't bought in. Just let me pay for everything. That's way more than three costumes cost. I know. It's also going to cover the damages. Damages? Ooh, nice segue. Oh, boy. Yeah! Uh, oops, sorry. Yep. There we go. There it is. Now I feel just like a real princess. And I feel like this is a look that works for day or evening, a casual get-together, or a night on the town. Oh, I feel good. And I can eat as much candy as I want, and my costume will still fit. In fact, I could fit an entire cowboy costume under here. Why, getting out of that old mall makes me happier than a pair of spurs on a pig that's taught himself to walk on two legs. Yeehaw! One thing I'll say about these costumes, they may not have been everyone's first choice, but I feel like they're very competitive. Hello, people in not very competitive costumes. Off with his head! Whoops, sorry. Reflex. Not winning the contest. This is sad. Sad. Well, in our hearts, we've already won. In our contest, you already lost. But it's a heart win. Contest lose. Heart win! Contest oh, lose. <laughs> Let's just call it a draw! No, no, no. Contest lose. Off sofa! Off sofa! You know what was what? funny? The mummy was in the bathroom and they ran out of toilet paper. I know, he came out with nothing on. <laughs> it was just Joe. It was just Joe. <laughs> I think I've had too much candy. I may have had too much candy because everything else is happening in slow motion. I'm happy you've had too much candy because I think I have, have, have too much candy. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Off roof! Off roof! <laughs>